So let's take a quick look at the structure of a JSON Web Token. And if you instantly think to yourself, ah, seems like base64, then you'd be correct. We actually have three parts to a JSON Web Token, the header, the payload, and the signature. These three parts are separated by full stops, and we can either decode each piece manually or use some tool like jwt.io to take a closer look. So the header contains the metadata about the token, such as the encryption algorithm used for the signature. The payload contains what are called claims. These claims can easily be tampered with, but should be protected with a signature that would detect any tampering. Typical things you might see are username, role, email address, etc. Some claims are part of the JWT standard, and others, like usernames, are set by the application when the token is issued. The last section, the signature, is usually generated by hashing the header and the payload together.